Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to open it. Hit the subscribe button, ring a little bell, ding a ling ling videos every Tuesday and Friday. And the only case you would do Sunday's video, go in there, yeah? Very special day today. Kind of. The black sheep, very special day. So, you know, we sold loads of silo the back end of last winter. It's now getting to the end of October. And dad had a bit of free time. He was in the office board looking at the diet. And he decided we need something else in the diet. I need to do a video of what we're feeding cows. So, we had two options, options two. We had either. Fodder beet that we get every year. Energy from sugars, really like fodder beet to feed. It's great, I really like it. The only issue with it, it can be hard. So it's hard for cow's teeth, but it normally gets chopped up in the Keenan. Or option number two is washed spuds. So these spuds have been washed, ready for supermarket stuff, but they've not graded right. Perfect for us because they're nice and clean. They're perfect. The only thing with fodder beet is it's the same exact price, but it's straight from the field. So if it's not coming off clean and it's so wet and claggy, it might not be that clean. You're putting dirt into our clean silage. So we have decided to go for spuds today. Baileys are quite good to tell us if they are clean or dirty or whatever. What's this for? YouTube. Alright, I wonder what you were, you do, you were up to. <laughs> I know, always messing about me. You might have noticed, it might have been out yet, or it might not have been, I have no idea. We moved some cows. No! Get away, go on. Hey! How nice is that sky, by the way? Beautiful. Just shut you out. Yeah, so we moved some cows, some dry cows into this paddock because there's so much grass, going to try to eat up. The only thing is, first day after, this is the first day after, and it's such a pain in the arse to feed because they just keep coming in. So them cows might not last too long being there. I didn't shut it properly. That's Tilly, as you can see there. Tilly, 212. Really friendly cow, you can go up to a scratcher. Oh, one day. No spuds left, actually, the, the, the A spud. We have gone for 20 tons of spuds. I have no idea what the variety is. Washed, cleaned, won't put much muck into the feeder, which is what we want. And yeah, 20 tons of spuds. Uh, uh, yeah. Where are we going? Let me finish milking. Okay, okay. Thank you. Look how nice that sky is. Beautiful. It's dry. That's amazing, isn't it? It's a first for. 2019 winter. Better and energy from starch instead of sugars from the fodder beet. They are nice and clean. They just won't be right for supermarkets, which is nuts, and we all know it's crazy. But hey ho, do cows like spuds? Would anyone like a spud? I think they like him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and talk about spuds a little bit more when father comes back. Why are we doing the spuds uh, with father? Because he wanted to chat about it a bit, but he's been on a milk round this morning. So he only got in, I think at like three o'clock, four o'clock this morning. So I don't think he's gonna be up for a, a couple of hours. I'm gonna go load the feeder for going over the road. They just get straight silo. They're not getting anything else. They're a bit smaller. The only problem with spuds is you'll see that cow just put the, um, just chewed the whole thing. If you've got anything a bit smaller, what will happen is uh, there's chance of choking, which you definitely don't want in young stock or old stock or any stock at all. So what we'll have to do is make sure the little ones don't get it. And it's just for the dairy cows and maybe the dry cows a little bit, but it starts isn't gonna do anything. We might not give it the dry cows. But currently they're outside, so we'll be able to get that. Hopefully. There we go. We got there. Handbrake on, Tom. Get this loaded up and feed over the road, but we'll see farther in two. Like what is wrong with that? Have it. There you go. Have it.
No way. So that just went through the feeder. Holy moly. No way. Woo. Now, if that is not being a farming YouTuber, I have no idea. Oh my God. It's still working. Not gonna do that, I don't think. Holy moly, that was scary. What I'm gonna do, instead of doing this, is I'm gonna load up as today's normal, and then when, do tomorrow, I'll get dad to hold the, um, let's talk this again. I'll get dad to hold, I'll hold the camera and dad can feed so we can see him mixing in. So I think it would be a good idea to not put that on there again. What's happened is that the jobby, it's the, 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 the tripod, it's called a jobby, is just going a bit tired. When we load up again and finish the video when dad comes back, because he's just a bit tired from his milk round job. That was close, could have broken everything. I've got a lot of videos on this GoPro. We've done a lot of stuff lately. It's like the hard drive all over again. <laughs> I will videos loading up later and we can see the spuds turn around, we can see what it looks like. I'm not gonna do that again, because this whole setup, very expensive to put through a mix wagon. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, no, you're driving. I'm good. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm gonna film you do it. Yeah. Why? Well, do you want me to drive? No, no, no. I'm back you, you can be top filmer if you want. Yeah. What do you want to make it up? There's a bit left in this trough. At least three. Yeah. Three. I put three, three in yesterday, and it, you know, it was just enough. So we're back with father. Go and put GoPros through his feeder again, because that's not good for him. Luckily, he didn't hit one of the blades. He did hit one of the blades. You wouldn't be here right now. There's a bit of straw. Spuds first. I'll turn the PTO on. So I've got dad who's just gonna help me just load up with this bit and he wanted to chat about the spuds anyway. We're actually a week after, oh, PTO. Uh, we're a week after the spuds arrived. Dad's a little bit better now. He was doing a milk round for three days last week. So starting at 10 and finishing at four in the morning. And everyone here is 62 or 63. I can't remember his date of birth, uh, 8th of, January. So yeah, he's like, he's getting on a little bit. So he's done enough really. He's gonna bring the spuds in and I'm gonna do the filming so we don't put this in there again. about 500 kilos of spuds in at the moment for the back shed which is 48 in there and then we're feeding the lows and the lows there's about 55 in there at the moment but you have got to think we fed these this morning anyway so we're actually doing we're feeding 75 percent of the herd in this one load if that makes sense kind of ish where's he gone he's um cracking on i think he's gonna grab some straw there he is oh by the way i've got a new jobby now so it's got better grip i've had the other one for about two years now so i think it's just got tired and it's for a one kilo camera i've got three kilo camera for anyone who actually cares if you don't care i've got a new one it doesn't matter Neil. It's a cracking day. Yeah, 200. So there she goes, she's loaded up to about three, two. Did the whole thing without dropping GoPros in the feeder. We did so well. The intakes have gone up late recently. Maybe it is the spuds. So we put about 500 kilos of spuds in here. I actually think we put about 420 in here this time. But um, it's not going to change too much. Just put a little bit less in and then feed out. I flicked the thing too far as well. You there? 
Here in cows. Here in cows, potatoes. We're looking for them. You won't believe us. 500 kilos of spuds got into this ration, but these cows are trying to smell them and pick them out. They're rooting in this silo for them. And they find them, they'll pick them out first. So when I loaded up for this morning, because these guys get fed in the morning and then we do a big mix for these in the afternoon and then the highs. But I don't put any spuds in because these get the same mix as the young calves. They're, like, they're quite young ones we don't feed any cake to. And um, we don't put spuds in just in case they might choke on them. So that's why they're probably really excited for the food now because it's got the spuds in. They're really liking them. And you learned from spuds, didn't you? Yeah, I learned a lot from We're potatoes. About to spud price. How, how to, how <laughs> to the control roof. food. No, potato, the potatoes have always been a good feed. It's a root. It's always been a good starch energy feed for cows, for fattening cattle or anything. But the big thing about it is they always say they're low on protein. But the type of protein they have and the amino acids in the protein that builds the proteins together that makes the overall protein the correct amino acid is the same one that cows need to make a lot of milk and milk's got this amino acid and it's leucine not lysine, leucine is the amino acid that's very prevalent in milk in the milk proteins so the cow needs it to produce the milk so not only is it getting driven by the starch and the energy in the potato, the protein, the type of protein in it is the correct sort. And these cows love spuds. They'll always eat potatoes. So we always, well, I say always, the last four years, three years, I've yeah. always gone, if there's a choice, we've always paid a little bit more for fodder beet. A little bit um, more. But we, I say when we were ordering them, they were clean. They, these yes. were clean and the fodder beet were just off the field, so we didn't know. And the weather, like, the weather this week's been quite nice, but the yeah. weather going into it it's been awful. very wet rather than have very good silo which we have this year and we're trying to make them eat every bit we've not cleaned the trough out yet this year have we Tom no not yet. not yet so they've eaten up to the bottom all the time rather than put dirty potentially dirty fodder beet and bringing soil and contamination into the mix I went for the washed spuds as they were the same price this year same price <laughs> now these are from a crisping contract so the potatoes that would have gone for crisping are generally a higher dry matter and more starch in them so there's generally more energy so they're the best end of the potatoes plus there's this lysine uh, amino acid in it which is obviously in the pot all potatoes and it's going to drive the milk forward yeah it's amazing so we spoke to busy lizzie from uh, virus systems she just had a chat to us sampled the silo clamp Again. over there we just haven't opened it up yet we're going to open it up very soon so okay. you'll see a video on that but we'll find out later on yeah. in a later video and we also resampled this silo as we've moved back into the face and it's basically given us I think a better definition of what the silo is dry matter is similar the ME is within 0.1 but the protein has gone up two notches proteins over 17% protein in the grass we're using now so that might be another reason why the cows are pretty loose hence we put the straw in but hopefully just that half a kilo third a kilo of straw just is enough to make that mat on the rumen so they make the best of the bugs and stock feed potatoes have always been good and if we get them clean like this they're worth every penny there we go look at that guys we and have look at these cows just look at how they're loving this mix and they're eating every bit love it don't they it was definitely worth waiting for dad because i nearly broke the gopro last time did you haven't seen that video yet no. have you? that is the end of the video that is why we've got spuds cows are very happy if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up thumbs up help push the thumbs up button it's a grazing hit the subscribe button as well because that'd be cool you can get your tp merch boom and boom at pemsis5shop.ca.k slash tp merch you can pick it up there we tried to get some new stuff out i wasn't too happy with it so it's not going out that's why i kind of trial stuff as in the video hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one bye Look at that. You guys can't get me because there's electric fence there. This is part of a different video I was filming, but look, you've seen the electric fence is doing its job because it's stopping cows coming into here. Sorry about this. Ha ha ha!